Look at all that horsepower. What's, What's happening? happening? Wait a minute, how is that possible? I just turned a bunch of horses into supercars. Well, I guess it's our lucky day, guys. Because, geez, I had 10 horses, and now uh, I think I got over 5,000 horsepower combined. Jeez. I've never seen that happen before, but it just did. And today, we are going to be going to check out the sickest car garage I've ever built with an attached race car track. So we got to get these cars over. I was just going to use it as like a horse barn, but uh, now that we got cars, we've got a place to put all these. So that's going to be great. And check them out. We got Lamborghinis, Ferraris. Check it out, boys. $18 million Bugatti right there. Corvettes, Dodge Hellcats, and a McLaren. Jeez, okay, that's insane. One slight problem is we only got one trailer and a truck. An F-350 Platinum to be exact. And we got to get all these cars over there by trailer. Or we could just drive it because you can see in the distance those super tall track lights. That's for when we drive at night. So we could just drive them over there. But I'm going to take the first load by truck and trailer. And let's take the nicest one. So I'm going to grab something down here. I think the Hellcat's pretty sweet. There we go, boys. Fire it up. Oh, yeah. All right, nice and easy. Pop the sunroof open. This is a Hellcat Red Eye. This thing's a beast. Okay. Oh, jeez. There we go. Right there looks perfect. Let's strap it down. Okay, we got one on there. I think we can only get two cars for each load. Let's grab this Ferrari. I don't know why it's in green, but uh, we got a red Audi, so I guess that makes up for it. There we go. This is a nice one. This is a Stradale SF90. This is one of the newer ones built. We got the second gen new and AIP racing tires and rims, of course, on there. They look pretty sweet. Those are an upgraded option. This Hellcat Red Eye just got the stock SRT wheels on it, but they did put a tint on those windows, which looks sweet. Purple always looks good on a Dodge. So let's go ahead and get this first load over there. Put out our tow mares. There we go. All right, we're on the move. Let's get heading on over to the racetrack, which has a couple surprises. This is not just your ordinary eight-figure racetrack. I put in some insane jumps. Obviously, they're supercar fitted, so we can, you know, jump them with Lamborghinis, and they're not going to scratch the bottom of it, so that's going to be nice, and I can land it perfectly every time. It's got a smooth landing, and then you just take off on the turn, so it's pretty sweet. I got, like, an eight-door shed back there. I don't know. It might even be more than that. So we've got about 50,000 square foot of straight car storage. So this is about a $5 million compound. We did go a little bit short on the entrance. So I'm going to have to uh, make a new attempt here. All right, I had to pull into the grass, and then I got to back up to get in the front gate, which we have two security guards making sure all my supercars are secure. But, okay, we should be able to swing it now. There we go, straight in the gate. I don't care about the light post. Let's just get it in the front gate. Oh, geez. Okay, we're looking good. Straight through. Perfect. So right when you get into the compound, you're going to be right on the racetrack. It's a straight drive that goes about three or four different turns. I think three we have right now. But if you do the jump, you can loop back around the track. I'm not going to lie. It's a little tight with a truck and trailer. Or I'm going to have a couple of my security guards bring them over. I got an eight-team security task force which is uh their main mission is to keep my car safe so i'm gonna have them drive the rest of the cars back that should be good we got our helicopter right here of course waiting for us if we want to take a lift to our mansion but where we're gonna put the cars at is in the back shed which is this big overhead door which you may seem like it will hit the fence but it won't check it out it's gonna swing perfectly open it's a hundred foot door look at how big this thing is it's massive and watch, it's going to clear the fence posts perfectly. Right there, looks great. And check it out, clears the light post. About by a foot too. Very nice engineering. But yeah, here's our workshop. This is going to be where we're going to store all the cars. We got a lift right here. This is for the uh, heavier supercars like the Bugatti. Those are really built heavy. Keep them on the ground and then these ones are uh, smaller lifts. Or maybe golf carts or something. We might get some golf carts over here. Back there is where the classics are going to be. That's the shed where everything past the 1960s. So, I mean, in 1950s, 40s, the classic cars are going to go back there. And then we got tons of space over here. All with built-in floor drains. So, if we want to wash them, 
we have the chance to. So that's the plan, guys. Let's get the cars in. Start off with that. And then we're going to get going on the track and open it up. But let me show you upstairs real quick. Just finish this tour. We've got parts for all the cars. And then here is the office. Check it out. Dual monitor setup. Absolutely crazy. Shout out to Crooked Creek Buildings. This thing is awesome. I'm so excited to have this as my new workshop. Big overhead LEDs. They did a fantastic job on this. And of course, the safe for all the keys. You got to keep them locked up. And I'm rebuilding some Corvette racing engines right here. Looking good. We're going to be uh, new turbos put in on those. So they're going to be super fast for a 1965 Corvette. So it's going to be nice. Let's go ahead and get some cars in here and I'll catch you guys when we do. All right, guys, I saved the best two for last, the Porsche and the Lamborghini STO. So we got the two best vehicles, in my opinion, in our fleet. The engineer said we could get 100 wide open in any vehicle on the track, but I agree that we could do 130 in this Porsche. I mean, we're already pushing 120 right here, so it shouldn't be too bad. It's just you got to slow down on the turns so you don't flip the vehicle over. Here we go, left here. Holy biscuits. The handling is insane of this car, so that's what I want to use it for. The track handling as well. Okay, here we go. Let's give it the speed. All right, so we're on the track right now. Pretty simple. There we go. Hang the left. Looks good. Fourth gear. Shift up. All right, looks good. All right, punch it. Here we go. Here's a straightaway. 100. Come on. There we go. Sixth gear. 120. Oh, jeez. Don't hit the gas pumps. All right, we didn't hit 130, but we hit 120. That's more than the engineer said. So I'll show you where we're putting all the cars at. Look at how many cars we have in our garage already. Massive collection. Let's back this one in. Looks great. And I forgot to show you the jump, but that's what the Lamborghini is going to be for. We're going to jump the Lamborghini off of the hidden jump. Check it out. That jump, if you come this way, you got to come in this direction so you can hit the jump and then loop back around the track. It's kind of like a quick way. Keep going in circles around the track. Here we go. We got flowers to mark where the jump is. There we go. And then you hit it right over the fence post. And then you just drag around all the way. So it's pretty sweet. You just keep on going. Let's grab the Lamborghini. And we're going to come to the opposite direction and hit this jump wide open. All right, boys. You want to get it going about 40 miles an hour. You don't want to go too fast or you'll over jump it. Here we go. Perfect landing. Look at that. And then we can race back to the garage. Here we go. All right, I only hit 100, but Lambos are a little bit slower than that Porsche. That thing's got twin turbos in it. This one doesn't have twin turbos yet. I think I might put one in. I may need to buy a new Lambo, possibly a Huracan Performante, if that's how you say it. I want to get one of those. They're a lot faster than the STO. But there you go, guys. That's our car collection in our brand new garage. This is massive. I got so much more space. I could probably start renting out some if I need to get rid of it. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's the end of today's episode on our brand new sickest car garage. I mean, it's just insane. Look at it. Office space up there, workshop there, storage there. I'm going to start searching on the internet for some old classic Fords, some racing ones as well. So we'll have to get some in there. Thanks for watching today's episode. Drop a thumbs up below if you enjoyed and you want to see more of these videos on the racetrack, guys. Maybe we'll bring some people out. If you want to see that, comment below. Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.